Welcome to section 5.1.3. We're going to be using generic rectangles today. We're going to introduce you to those um, as a way of multiplying to save us some work with the tiles. Quick review of yesterday to kind of bridge where we were at. Um, we were asked on problem 22 to basically write this as a product and as a sum. So if I do my area here, uh, the products are the sides. I've got on this side, I have 2x plus 3. On this side right here, I have 4x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. Didn't leave myself much room there. And then the area, these are x squareds and these are x's and these are 1's. So let's see, I've got 1, I've got 8 x squared plus 3, 6, 9, 12, and 22 plus 22 x's, 3, 4, 3, 4, and 15 1's. Okay, that's how we have been doing it, but there's a way that we can write it that will make it um, even easier to work with. In your book they give us this example as how to kind of bridge between these. And I want you to look, if I were to break this pattern, hopefully you'll see the 2x plus 3 here and the 4x plus 5 here. But if I were to break this pattern in this one, say here are my two x's together, and so if I group my x's together, it'll just make it just a little bit easier. Okay. And then, if I group my x's together here, on this side I would have 2x and 3, and on this side I would have 4x and 5. That's where we get these numbers. Now I'm just going to perform the multiplications and you'll see that I get the same result as what's over here. Um, okay, multiply the number times the number. 2x times 4x. 2 times 4 is 8. x times x is x squared. I'm going to mark that here. 2 times 4 gives us 8. And x times x gives us x squared. Here we have 3 times 4, which is the 12, and we have no other x, so it's just x. Same thing here. 2 times 5 is 10, and then there's just an x because there's not anything for the x to multiply by. And on this one, we have 3 times 5, which is just 15. Remember, I'm getting those numbers as though I'm multiplying this area saying this is 3, this is 5, so that's 15. Now, let's look and see how those numbers match with the counts that we had before. Okay, right here we had 8x squared. Right here we had 12x's. Right here we had 15 ones. And right here we had 10x's. Now, when I do this, just like in this figure, I had x's over here and over here. I look here and I see that I've got some x's that will add. So I'm going to write my area as a product. 3x, I'm sorry, 2x plus 3 from this side. And 4x plus 5 from that side. And now I'm going to look and see if any will combine. Well, are there any other x squareds? No. So this is going to be my x squareds, eight of them. I have two groups of x's, a 12x and a 10x. So I'm going to combine them, and I'm going to get 22 x's. And then I've got these 15 ones over in the corner, which don't really attach to anything else. You see I got the same thing over here, 8x plus 22x plus 15. Same thing this way. This is a lot easier way to do this. And so we're going to run through some practice doing different ones. Um, first, we're going to start with some where they've already given us the rectangles. And we just basically have to 
do the multiplication. See, 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times 5 is 15. So if I wrote this out, it'd be 3, 3 times y plus 5 equals 3y plus 15. Okay, let's look at this one. This is just a single box, and I'm going to have 2 times the number on the front. The number on the front of this one's going to be 1, even though it's normally not written. 2 times 1 is 2, and x times x is x squared. So that's going to give me 1x times 2x equals 2x squared. Let's look at this one. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2, x times x is x squared. 2 times 5 is 10, the x doesn't have anything to multiply by, so it just stays as an x. Same thing here, negative 3 times x is negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, times the x, which is just x. Negative 3 times 5, positive 5 is negative 15, remember negative times a positive. And let's see, so that gives me x plus 5 times 2x plus, I'm not sorry, not plus, minus 3 will equal 2x squared. I've got 10x and negative 3x. When I combine those, that'll make that a positive 7x minus 15. Okay, let's look at this one. 4 times 6 is 24. Y times Y, Y squared. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. Y times no other variable is just Y. Uh, 4Y, or 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 1 times, or there's nothing to multiply the Y times, so it's just going to stay as Y. And negative 7 times negative 1 is a positive 7. Now let's write our products and our sum. Area is a product, area is sum. 4y minus 7, 6y minus 1 equals 24y squared. No other y squared. Negative 42y and negative 4y will give me negative 46y's plus 7. And so that is how I do those. Okay. Let's look really quick at how to do one if they just give you the numbers. And this is uh, number 25A. What I do is I look and I see how many terms I have in each parentheses. In this parentheses, I have two terms. So I know I'm going to need two separate sections for that. I've been using this on the side, but it doesn't matter if you want to make that the bottom. I'm going to put it over here. X and plus 5. So I'm going to put one divider there so that I've got something to multiply the x's by and the 5. I've got two terms here and so I know that I'm going to need two spaces this way. Maybe it's easier to write the 3x and the 2 this way and then go, oh, I need two spaces, two columns, and now I'm able to do my multiplication. 3 times 1 is 3 x times x is x squared. 2 times x is 2x. 3x times 5, 3 times 5 is 15. And then there's nothing to multiply the x by. And 2 times 5 is 10. These two right here are going to combine. And so I'm going to get my result, which is 3x squared plus 17x's, plus 10. Okay, next one. The distributive property. And if I throw that in here, I know I've got 3x, so there's nothing to go there, but I've got 6y and minus 11, so I'm going to have to have two boxes. Let's multiply. 6 times 3 is 18. x times y is xy. 3 times negative 11 is negative 33. X doesn't multiply times anything, so it's just going to be that way. That's going to be our answer. 18xy minus 33x. 
continued in the next part.